Coming to you from snowy western Massachusetts on December 17th. This is the first big northeaster of the season. We've got about eight inches, eight to nine inches of snow on the driveway. And let's see how, how far we get on uh, a couple of five amp hour, 56 volt batteries. At the point where I stop there, the uh, red light, uh, the red warning light had come on and the batteries are not exhausted, but I think it was such a heavy current draw that it was saying, okay, give me a break. So we'll see. I'm going to take a second pass and see if we get to that same stopping point before the red light goes on. Right, this time the red light did not turn on until where I turned around way down there at the bottom much further than the first time. On my way back up I stopped and waved my arm where the red light turned on on the first pass. I think on that first pass I was perhaps a little too aggressive pushing too quickly and it uh, generated the warning. So the batteries are still good I can uh, do another pass lines aren't very straight. It's uh, quite a bit of crosswind and the blow from the snow sometimes lose track of where I am. So I'll, I'll take another pass now and see how far we get. You can see the green light is, is on without changing the battery. Okay, at this point, the red light went on where I turned around back down there. Uh, at this point, we've taken uh, two passes of 324 feet. Uh, and then that, that shorter one of, not quite sure what, but uh, probably uh, 250 or so. And if I test the battery again, it's showing green. So I can keep going. So that red light is just a, a warning to give it a pause. That time the red light came on just about where it did that first time when I was biting out the full width of the floor. You likely notice the, la the last three passes I've only attempted to bite maybe half of the total width, make, uh, give it a little less load. <laughs> At this time, the green light still comes on, so it's, it's still charged. I'm just going to, as an experiment, keep going and see how long it takes till they're really dead. We're seeing a pattern here. The red light uh, came on earliest uh, yet. So I think we're getting near the bottom. Again, it's, uh, it's green right now, so I'll keep going.
think that's it. Both batteries blinking red. I try to turn it on now. Everything's blinking red. That's it. I'm curious to know how many pounds of snow were thrown by the dual 5 amp hour batteries this season. So to do that, if you've seen my previous videos, I just measure a 22 by 22 inch uh, square with that shovel there. Toss the snow into these buckets, measure the weight, calculate the density, and thereby the poundage. Those three buckets of snow weighed about 18 pounds. That turns into a density of 128 kilograms per cubic meter, which is about where you'd expect to be uh, was not really light fluffy snow was not super dense um, the total area of snow removed was about 1500 square feet measuring uh, from the driveway and therefore the total weight of the snow removed from one charge of those dual five amp hour batteries was 7800 pounds and i did measurements like this last year and it's comparable so that shows uh, over the last year that I haven't lost uh, capability in those batteries and they still continue to move sizable poundage from the driveway. This is the finished result. It took uh, two complete charges of the two 5 amp hour batteries to blow this much snow. It's about 100 yards long, 8 feet wide at the top. Uh, seven feet wide as we go down.